The town of Maplewood was painted with hues of gold, amber, and burnt sienna as the first whispers of autumn were carried by the chilly breeze. Each leaf that fell from the trees seemed to tell a story of time, change, and nature's perennial dance. But for Leah and Sam, this fall was unlike any other, for it brought along a story they'd remember for all their lifetimes. It was the 12th of October when Leah's water broke, seven weeks ahead of her due date. They had been preparing the nursery in colors of autumn, inspired by the season she was supposed to be born. Pumpkins and leaves decorated the walls, and a little wooden crib stood waiting, untouched. Sam, panicking more than Leah, managed to get them to Maplewood General just in time. The medical team swarmed around Leah, ensuring everything was in place for the premature birth. Dr. Harris, a kind older gentleman with wise eyes and soft hands, took charge. Hours seemed like seconds, and amid the urgency of beeping machines and hushed conversations, baby Amelia made her early debut into the world. Weighing a mere three pounds, she was tiny, fragile, but fiercely determined. Her small cries echoed like a beacon of hope in the room. Amelia was immediately taken to the NICU, where machines buzzed and tiny lives hung in the balance. Each day was a challenge. Leah and Sam spent countless hours by her side, singing lullabies and whispering stories of the beautiful world outside, where fall was painting a masterpiece. They spoke of how the trees shed their leaves, making way for a new beginning, much like Amelia's early start in the world. They spoke of the pumpkin patches, waiting for her first visit, and the first time she'd feel the rustling leaves under her tiny feet. Weeks went by. The leaves outside turned from golden yellow to deep crimson. Emilia, with every passing day, grew stronger. The medical staff, who were once strangers, now felt like family. Nurse Anna, with her ginger hair and freckles, would often sneak in a tiny pumpkin or a pressed leaf for Amelia's crib, a symbol of the world rooting for her. The day they got to take Amelia home was one of the last days of fall. The ground was blanketed in leaves, and the air had a crispness that hinted at the impending winter. Amelia was snug in her car seat, wrapped in a blanket knitted by her grandmother, with shades of the season. Leah and Sam, holding their tiny miracle in their arms, stood outside their home, looking at the nursery window. The room, once waiting in anticipation, was now ready to welcome its occupant. The season of fall, with its essence of change and new beginnings, had given them a gift they'd forever be grateful for. In the years that followed, every autumn, the family would revisit the story of Amelia's unexpected arrival, and as the leaves would begin to fall, they would celebrate life, change, and the magic that is born when nature and fate intertwine. <laughs>